At heart, Thomas is a scientist. So he's very much involved in the research, the, the down to the molecular structure of uh, the process that goes on in, in beer, the science part of it. Uh, he always has his nose in a book looking for the newest way to play with these flowers. You know, whether we're doing late edition, the way that we're just recircing it, treating it, uh, the, down to the water we're using. Very aromatic, citrusy, uh, drank it, very smooth, flavorful. Yeah, all right, this is good. <laughs> and you can just see that look in his eye. Like, yeah, that's all 100% citra hops, so suck it. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he hated citra hops. I thought it would be funny to compromise his integrity by forcing him to sell a beer that had as much citra flavor as I could possibly put into it. That's basically how it came to be. The reason I wanted to enter Alpha King in the first place is because of guys like Tommy Arthur, Jeff Bagby, and Kirk McHale, who are all originally San Diego brewers. This, I feel like, is the rightful home of the award. It's pretty amazing to, to be able to do something uh, like what they did. Oh. Alpha King, they're, they're definitely looking for beers that are hopped in the extreme end. At the same time, the beer has to be balanced and very drinkable. It's really the, the who's who of big bad hop makers. It's people that are making hop bombs, best representation of hops and beer. The only requirement is 60 IBUs to be considered. Big bad 100% Citra double IPA takes on the Alpha King and it is damn good.